Okay, seems like the lantern slid up. Nice, I didn't have to skip one day, so we are like still at the day 10. Please no cash, please no cash. What is this? Hey tourist, the intel you've been gathering for me has been enlightening to say the least. Georgia is planning on a mass exile in the very near future. Uh -huh. Many lives are going to be at risk. I have a few things to discuss with you. I know we were going to try to avoid the face-to-face, -face, but the plan I'm formulating warrants it. I appreciate your ear. Meet me in the same spot as the first time, churchyard. Thanks for all you're doing. May. Got you, May. We're going to the churchyard. Wait, this wasn't here before. Be warned. Tower bullshit. <laughs> Out of my way! Wait, those pipes were... Weren't there before as well? Something's going on. Oh, <laughs> because we installed the pipes to drain the water from Casey's place, they appeared here. That's very interesting and kind of weird, like Easter egg. Okay, well, we're drink today pretty much here, so I don't think we're gonna have walkers. Although I I don't really know what to expect anymore, you know, from the storyline. This is I did not reach this point, so it's gonna be interesting. Hello, May. I'll get right to the point. After looking over the intel you brought me, it seems like Georgia is planning to toss out a large number of people real soon. Yeah. A lot of lives are going to be in jeopardy. Good news is we have some hope. The map you scored shows a safe way out of Nola. Just need to buy some time and some space to organize exiles on a large scale. Get them ready to move. I think the reserve is going to provide the opening I need. Okay. Georgia and the tower are so obsessed with it. Don't think they'll be concerned with what I'm doing for a short while. And with the reclaim salivating over it too, once the reserve is unlocked and revealed to the world, courtesy of you, there's going to be a bloodbath. Yeah. You can count on that. And that's when I make my move. Window won't be open long though. It'll be tight, but I gotta take the chance. Okay. I mean, yeah, so there's no me. Sounds risky. Trying to get that many people out at once without Georgia noticing. Yeah. You've seen the posters everywhere. She's trying to turn the whole city against you. Maybe you should just get out with Ombra while you have the chance. You can't be serious. After all the work my daughter and I have put in to she make won't. this dream a reality, you think I should turn my back on the people I've been working so hard to help? No. I'm all in, tourist. I appreciate your concern. But we are going to uphold our promise to these people. Do or die. I will leave the key to the reserve in the drop spot for you. Lantern will be on when it's there. When the ship goes down for the reserve, if you're thinking it's all too much and you want out, come find us. The Exodus could use someone with your particular set of talents. My hope is you won't be a fool, but my mind suspects you'll be too hooked on that damn reserve pipe dream just like everybody yeah. else. All I can do is wish you good luck and good judgment, tourist. Take care of yourself. <laughs> Thanks, May. So, yeah. The, the storyline. The storyline is not one-sided, that's the thing. And that's why kind of game suspects us to kind of make a decision in the end. I don't know if there's gonna be. Uh, it's pretty much the tower is boohoo evil guys. And the reserve is kind of like good guys, but they did so much bad shit as well so no one is like innocent in this kind of scenario i still fucking walk through this corridor so slowly because it's not like i'm not scared but like you you can't expect things from this game like things just happen randomly even though i walked through this corridor like 10 times already <laughs> it's just the ambience that it creates it's just it's fucked up man it's fucked up okay see i have news you're go not gonna die that soon Casey, good news. May said she would give me the key we need. Good news? Help, oh, Taurus. <laughs> I'm impressed by that. It's fucking outstanding news. No, look, I, I don't want to jinx it, but... No, uh... You know what? I'm gonna keep my mouth shut. Good. Best not to risk the jinx. Let let's just forge ahead. One step at a time. Okay, so, um... The part to repair the final pump. Gosh, I... I, I don't have much... Oh, there's control. third pump. Last Weird. one. There's been really faint Shit. chatter about it on a few channels. It's been nothing but static for months. Mm -hmm. uh, th there's an outpost called Bastion. Yes. Set up in a heavily defended duplex home. Uh, barricades and optimal sight lines. 
The reclaimed currently controlled. Oh. Now the place has been a hotbed of conflict between Tower and Reclaimed for a while. From what I'm hearing, that's where it is. So be ready for a shitstorm. Good luck. And hey, keep your head on a swivel. <laughs> Thanks, Casey. Wait, an outpost controlled by the reclaimed? That's interesting. Because normally reclaimed like kinda like us and we kinda can enter through their kinda barricades and just like you know normally move around them. So what's gonna be the situation now? Will we just be able to freely go and take the key? I don't think that's gonna happen. Bastion is actually the last place I did not visit. For the reason, because there was no storyline there. So I'm just pretty much not skipping even any day this playthrough. So Bastion is like the last thing to do now. It's interesting. I'm I very excited how it's gonna end. <laughs> or like how even. Damn. Foggy. <laughs> okay. Well, we have to be just careful. The music. The ambiance. Wait. <laughs> What's the map? Uh, okay, so we have to go to the blue um, house, of course. It's gonna be just on the right, okay. It's not that far. Should I like expect tower to be around or something? I don't like it's foggy, like I can't very see much. Well, let's just go through the main street, fuck it. Where is everyone? Or even the zombies? Casey warned me that there's gonna be a shitstorm, so... I don't like... What the fuck was that? What the? Excuse you. Game, don't fuck with me like that, Jesus. <laughs> Why? A car? Let's go here. What the fuck is going on, dude? Heavily guarded my ass. What the hell? Wait, there's no timer. So, there's no time limit. That's the most weird thing. <laughs> oh, here we go. I have to go up. Okay. Hello? Come on, dude. What the... Okay, thank you. <laughs> and you expect me to jump down and like kill what? Nothing happens? Bullshit. Wait, there's gonna be some boss fight or something? Okay, I don't know where to search. I mean, good idea is to go up. Always. Meet me where the... Uh, that's the secret code. Hmm... Those lanterns. Ow. I kinda wonder what they do you mean. Like... Surely not uh, a co coincidence, right? That they are lit up. Also those random fucking bushes sound effects. Fuck off. <laughs> Don't fuck with me. Where? Lights. What the hell is this? This is not a place we should go be, right? <laughs> I mean, surely. Oh, it's the yellow house? Which is like a ne neutral ground normally on the maps, I think. Weird. Damn, this is a fortress. Yeah, that's correct. I mean, we don't have very really much choice. We just go. <laughs> I hate this. Front door? 
Hmm. Sure. <laughs> Hello. Okay, not bothering with resources. Stars up. That's a good sign. Usually there are things there. Okay, I hear a zombie. Wait. Hello? You made it. I didn't doubt that you would, of course, but my patience was beginning to be tested. <laughs> Who are you? Let's start with a formal introduction. Yes. You are the tourist, and I am Jean Baptiste. Mm -hmm. JB for short. Sorry, I need a moment. Let me just close. There now. We can proceed to matters of more profound consequence. It is my understanding that this gizmo here would be of use to you. Mm -hmm. It's all yours. Consider a gift. And when we are finished with our conversation, I will provide you with the missing dial that you'll need to operate it. Sound fair? <laughs> One of those Nolanites, exactly, bitch. We don't have a choice, it seems like it. Keep it brief. I'm busy. I won't take much of your time, you have my word. Mm -hmm. We all have business to attend to. Now, I prefer to play it straight. Once Same. I received word that you were collecting these devices, and to what purpose, I saw an opportunity to connect with the city's most illustrious survivor and have a chat about the reserve. So I made it a priority to acquire one through various means I will not divulge. And now here you are. It is my hope when I am through, you will see the reserve for what it is. Nothing more than a crutch. Holding back the people of this fine city from regaining themselves. I would agree. You've piqued my interest. Go on. I am a firm believer in the greatness of humankind. <laughs> oh, God. Our One of those. Art, our towering scientific achievements. This reserve nonsense, even if the rumors about what may be inside it exceed our wildest dreams... The bounty will only prolong our addiction to survivalism as the only path in life. It will stifle our creativity. It will eventually lead to our withering doom. Now, this is the proposal that I have for you. Continue your search for the reserve. And when you unearth it, which I have the utmost confidence you will, destroy it. These four numbers will disable the entire flood contingency system. Mother Nature will rage through the reserve and take care of the rest. One, zero, zero, six. Flood the reserve and set us all free. Give this still glorious city the jumpstart it needs to refocus on something much grander than mere survival. Grant us hope, tourist, and thank you. Most sincerely for hearing me out. And let's keep this chat between us, if that's all right. I'm not sure my comrades would see the big picture benefits of removing the reserve from the equation. The floor is now yours, my friend. Anything on your mind that requires clarity? I've heard enough. Fair enough. Then we are finished here. The dial has promised. Thank you. Godspeed, tourist. Oh yeah, I'm not forgetting this one then. <sighs> I'm so confused what's going on. Leave with the pump part. Should I kill you now on the spot? Will this benefit me at all? I don't think I'm gonna leave alive from here, but you know. We will see, okay? Now I'm gonna close on you. Bitch. Okay, well, I have no idea what to do. I mean, the reserve. I know it's. Mm, I think it is actually. 
a complete fucking bullshit. <laughs> like, there's, it, it just no, makes no sense in the store. Like, fuck. Georgia. Hype, you're not exactly what I expected. Thought you'd be more put together, <sighs> a bit more danger to your presence. You look beautiful. Um, those soldiers as well. I wonder if I can just kill her on the spot and that's it. <laughs> um. Sorry to disappoint, lady. Lady. Good thing I'm not too concerned about what you think of me. You should be, fool. Your life may depend on it. I'm Georgia. Maybe you heard of me, maybe not. I could give two shits. What does concern me is the man inside the building you just stepped out of. Okay. The time has come to silence him once and for all. Cut off the head that won't shut up. Rest of the reclaimed fools will fall back in line. Then us tower folk can get back to doing what's right. Without all the noise. Ah, uh, so Jean-Baptiste is the leader of reclaimed, okay. From what I know about JB... It may take more than you and a couple of goons to take him down. Yeah, something's You're a real up. Real smart ass tourist. I fucking love smart asses, especially when I snip the tongues out of their smart ass mouths. But I'm willing to give you a pass on your smart ass ways, just this once. I'm gonna offer you an opportunity to be a hero. You game? That depends. What the fuck do you want me to do? Quit fucking with me, fool. Don't you know swear on me. March back up into that house and kill JB. Prove you are worth more to the tower than the cockroach you've been so far. And in return, all your fucked up transgressions will be forgiven. If you happen to find yourself in the midst of our onslaught on the reserve, tower troops will have your back. You have my word. You know what, Georgia? Um, you know, I really just don't fucking like people who think they can tell me to do what I want. So, you know, um, I have a special gift actually for you. It's called uh, uh, Great Death. Who next? You all have nothing on me. Sorry, Georgia. I mean, if you would keep your town straight and not smart as like you you would live but uh, that's the end of your storyline oh look how cute let me put you in the backpack ah you're gonna have be a wonderful statue in my place my dear Georgia we have gone too far this has to stop. We are not cruel. No matter what our community is facing right now, we have to remember our promise to the people. I understand the need to pivot when faced with a crisis, Georgia. Those responsible for the atrocities that led to the disease were brought to justice. We have to put the lessons we learned from all that dick business behind us. When I first learned that those animals were serving human flesh to our most desperate, simply to meet hunting quarters, I was enraged. Damn. But as difficult as it may be, I had to pivot. I had to try and understand the desperation that drove them to hunt human beings. Maybe our scavenging quarters were a misstep. Yes, punishment was warranted, but we cannot allow those horrors to color all the choices we make moving forward. We must help people, not abandon them. I have been changing course and making difficult decisions a majority of my life. We can figure this out. We can get this community back on the right track. I may be a bit compromised these days, but my mind is as sharp as ever. You need to be patient, <sighs> and you need to trust me. You know, she's fucked up as well, <laughs> just like her daughter. 
I mean, there's a very good explanation when I killed her. She was being as smart as herself, and I, I just don't like people who just <laughs> rule me around. That's pretty much it. And here is the lantern lit up. I'm assuming it's the key. Casey, I have your last pump. So let's just keep things going. 